And if you're a Blender user and you're in the market for a fresh crowd simulator, then Population from the folks at B Production is a wonderful one that's just been announced. This offers 48 3 discount characters divided into three categories, which includes casual, business, and sports, with a library of 55 movements, which are all custom motion captured animations. And for those who like to get this, there's gonna be a link in the description that will bring you right here where you can grab it. And currently, there is a mega sale launch offer discount for those who like to get this, and with a coupon code, which I'm gonna put in the description. And of course, if you'd like to try this for free, there is a free version that you can grab and start playing with. And with that said, let's dive directly into Blender and take a look at how this actually works. So with Blender simply open, all we need to do is go over to Edit, go over to Preference and go to Add-ons and click on Install. And what we need to do is to install the add-on. And once you install the add-on, you'll notice that it offers you a file path and an install button. The population add-on ships with four zip files, which three of them are asset files and one of them is the add-on file that you just installed. So what you need to do is to create a brand new folder where you like your assets to be saved, go back to the preference in Blender, click on the library path section and navigate to the population asset folder that you just created. Next thing you need to do is to click on install and install these packs individually. This simply takes a couple of seconds to do and it's pretty easy to get going. And once you're done, click on the bugger menu, save your preference and close the window. And with that done, all you need to do to start creating is simple. Press N on the keyboard and you notice we have the B production panel right here. And from here, we can start working with it. The very first thing which you notice is we have the single and crowd. And also within the single, you notice we have the walk and run and we also have the ambience. So how this one works is very easy. Within the style section, you can select between the three categories of styles that exist that you can work with. So we can simply click on Kelvin and we can click right here, go over to daily life, find something. Let's say we're looking at a football stadium chair and we would like this to be a low poly or high poly. We can select that. Now, if you click on import, this is going to import the model where the 3D cursor is. So we're just going to click on that button and get that model imported. If you want to preview this and see all of the qualities that it has, you can either use EV or Cycles to get going. And because we know that this has animation to it, we're going to press playback button and you can preview the animation. I love the fact that all of the animation that comes with these do have root spoons, so you can simply move them around depending on what you want to do. You can rotate them and you can position them wherever you want within your scene. And in terms of more styles, if you go over to the style section, you can select sport, click on this button and you notice that we have a couple of spot models that we can pick and work with. We can also go over to business, click and you'd notice a couple of business models that you can work with. Like we mentioned earlier, all of these are high quality photo scanned models and you can choose between low poly and high quality ones. So in this case, if we would like to preview, say for example, Jessica as a character in full HD, we can click that go all the way to communication click right here we might want a simple checklist in select this to be hd click on import and import this model in and if i zoom all the way in you can tell that this model is high quality the same thing is said for the shaders as we select the shaders and go over to the material section you also notice that we have some interesting shader parameters going on here so the folks at B Production have actually put a lot of work into getting these models looking super cool. And if you're thinking about generating multiple variations of the same model, you can. So with each model that you have here, if you have random color checked, once you import another one, this is going to import a different clothing variation for you. So you can import as many as you want and populate your scene with different variations of the very same character. So how do you generate crowds here? So for you to generate crowds, you have different modes that you can select. The very first one is a classic mode. You have the cluster, the follow curve, the grid, and the stadium. So depending on what you want, you can definitely select these things and get going. I'm going to start off with a classic one, which I believe lots of people would like to explore. So the very first thing which you need to do is to select the platform where you want these crowds to be generated. And in this case, we're going to use our simple plane. So we use the eyedropper, select that and make sure that we have it selected and we can start loading up as many models as we want. And how you load these things up is very easy. Go through the styles that you want and select the animation that you want. And all you need to do is to click on add person. So you can do this for as many models as you want and stack them within the list. And once you're satisfied with the number of models that you have in, you can click on import and this would automatically import all of those models and populate the plane. So at this point, you can see what we have. So we can switch over to rendering so you guys can see what we have looking nice. If we switch back, 
So what we have before, if we press playback, you'd notice that all of these are animating. The same thing can be said for working with all these other modes that exist here. Meanwhile, if you're thinking about scaling this, of course you can. So you can simply select the platform, tap S on the keyboard, and you can scale them. So you can bring them smaller, make them larger, and enjoy working with this. Of course, if you like to control all of these options and parameters, you can. So we can go all the way up and we can start making changes to all of this. So for example, if we like to drop down the density, we can reduce the density of characters that we have here. And we can also play with the cluster size depending on how much clusters we want. So if we like to have more clusters, we can have them. We can drop those down. We can turn this off. We can seed these characters however we want. If we like the characters to look at a particular place, we can also make them do that. So at this point, these characters are just looking around. We can use the eyedropper and make all of them look towards the light. Now, if you press the playback button, you notice nothing is happening because we haven't turned on the look target. So once we do that, you'd notice that they all look towards this light. If I select this light and I move this around, I want you to see that the characters simply follow this. So there's a lot of options and also a good number of control that you have when working with the modes. And the same can be said for the curve mode, as you can use this to create some curve, the grid mode, and also the stadium mode. One very interesting one, which I think a lot of you guys would love to see, is the run and walk. We sort of skipped that Oh, we're talking about single people. How this one works is very simple. So I'm just going to go over to the Z axis and I'm going to click on walk and run. Click right here. Select the character Kim. Looks cool. So I'm just going to select Kim and I can click on drop down and select running. So once you are within the walk and run, you'd only be able to have access to animations that are related to that. So if we go to communication, you don't find anything. If you go over to walk, you'll be able to find a few. And if you go over to run, you'll be able to find some. I select simple walk, click right here, and we can get a walk. Now, one thing which I like to see in subsequent update is the female version. All of these ones that we're getting here are all male, and there isn't a female one. And I think that should compensate for the female models that we have. Now, once you click on import with this mode, and also this mode selected, you can now draw how you want your character to move. Position this handle about something like that. And once I'm comfortable with this, I can proceed to press the playback button and you'd notice that our character starts running. I'll simply a bit towards this part so we can see the character and I'm just gonna go ahead and turn things off and press the playback button one more time so you can see it. Now, some very interesting things that you can still do with this includes having the model selected, going all the way up and creating counts. So I can create the number of counts. In this case, I'm just gonna create about six of these and I can spread them. I can spread this even more and you will notice that we've got six of these. I can drop that down, you know, because we would like this to be a bit more nicer and I'm gonna drag this all the way in. So once you have this going, you can press the playback button to see the characters running. You can also choose to reverse the motion. So depending on what you like to do with characters, you now have the population tool and you can start creating some impressive things with it. So this is it, Population, which is a crowd simulation tool from the folks at B Production is now available and you can go ahead and get this with the link in the description for 25% off as the coupon code is also going to be there for you to grab it. And for those who like to try this and start playing with it, there is a free version that offers you 2% of the Population tools and you can start doing some amazing stuff with it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. All of these high quality models are here and they're all waiting for you to grab them and start working with them. And of course, if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And I'd like to see you guys in the next one. Peace.